Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Billy issues a stern warning and Lily lowers the boom on Daniel and Heather. Today on The Young and the Restless Billy issues a stern warning, Chelsea pleads with Adam, and Abby disagrees with Devoon. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors, however, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. On Crimson Lights Patio, Chelsea and Adam discuss Connor's aversion to food. There's so much they don't understand about his triggers. Adam's relieved that their son is back home, but Chelsea isn't, though she concedes it was nice to see him smile. They bicker about the school, and Chelsea points out his issues haven't gone away. Adam wants to get him help locally. Chelsea knows he's struggling with Connor's diagnosis, she is too, but they have to make a decision for his sake. Chelsea tells Adam they can't manage Connor's OCD by themselves. Adam doesn't want to rush. Chelsea reminds him that the sooner he gets treatment, the sooner he gets the tools to handle his condition. She asks if he really thinks he's been misdiagnosed and begs him to get on board with her. Please. She stresses that moving forward is so important. They have to show Connor this is treatable with the proper help. She found an incredible treatment center in Maryland and wants him to take a look. Adam argues they still have to convince Connor on board. Chelsea tells Adam that him telling their son he doesn't have to go isn't helping. Adam wanted him to feel like his feelings matter to them. Chelsea says there's no shame in getting help. If they accept it, he will accept it. She'll convince Connor, but Adam has to be on her side. If they do this together, they can be the parents Connor needs them to be. Adam, emotional, agrees to look into Maryland. At home, Daniel puts away a photo of him and Lily just as Heather comes in. Daniel wonders why Lucy's so nervous about introducing them to her boyfriend Waylon. Heather teases about what his reaction will be to the boy. Daniel just hopes he's not like him when he was his age. Heather changes the subject to the office. We can do this. We can do it. She thinks they should head there separately, however. Daniel agrees it's a good plan, as long as he has an office to go to. Heather's sure if either of them are fired, it will be her. Lily told her that it was a definite possibility. She believes she targeted him as soon as she returned to Geno City. I'm a lot more expendable than you are. She points out he's the head of the successful gaming division. Daniel argues that it's their property and they'll continue to benefit from it whether he's there or not. Heather wants to look at Daniel's contract, but he doesn't want to go that route. She asks if losing the thing that made him turn his life around would make him regret what's happened. Daniel wonder if Heather has perhaps decided he's more trouble than he's worth. Heather tells him he still makes her heart flutter, and he brought Lucy into her life. She is excited to start a future with him. Daniel promises he has no regrets. He knew he had to clean up his act and knows how lucky he is that it worked. Heather argues the platform helped him turn himself around. We're talking about your heart. Daniel loves Omega Sphere and is proud of it, as well as all the people it's helped. But he created it hoping to get her and Lucy back in his life. If you look at it that way, it may have served its only real purpose. Daniel promises that no matter how things turn out at Chancellor Winters, he'll be fine. He's more concerned about her. Heather liked the work at the company, but the main reason was because it kept her in close proximity to him. Daniel thinks they can figure out how to keep themselves in close proximity on their own. Heather's sure she can find another position. They'll put their heads together to figure out the future. They kiss. Lily meets Devon for lunch at Society and accuses him of trying to distract her from Daniel and Heather. She reveals that she set up a meeting with them to catch up on what she missed, but now she'd rather have a root canal. Devon wonders if there will ever be a time where them being at the office won't bother her. Lily says, honestly, no. That's why I think it's best that we fire Heather and Daniel. Billy walks in and accuses Lily and Devon of plotting another corporate purge. What is going on? Devon says there's a good reason, but they won't get into it right now. Billy argues that he deserves more information. They bicker about the gaming division and Billy wonders if they were going to tell him about this. He wouldn't have known if he didn't walk in on their conversation, but yet I'm the one who's paranoid about corporate power moves. Lily snarks about him taking her office while she was away. Billy asks after Maddie and says he has no problem relocating his office, but he's staying at Chancellor Winters. 
he has to make sure his mother's best interests are represented, meaning he'll be part of every decision this company makes. Billy grills them about the reason they want to fire Daniel. Lily's expression tells him that she's not in a relationship with Daniel anymore. He guesses that something happened between Heather and Daniel, and now they want to fire them both. Lily confirms that's what happened, and she didn't know about it. Anything else? Billy's sorry she was hurt. Lily thanks him. She believes he means that. Billy understands the urge to react, but doesn't think firing them is the right move. Lily argues the tension will affect the work environment. Devin and Lily are sure that Daniel and Heather won't fight Lily's decision. Billy thinks they're being short-sighted and worries about being sued. He's pissed off that Daniel would cheat on her. But this decision is a mistake. Her emotions are dictating her professional choices, and Devin is enabling his sister out of loyalty. They haven't crossed any lines expect personally. You're about to make a decision that is going to be very difficult to come back from. With that he walks off to the bar. Devin says he made some valid points. Lily shrugs, yeah, well, I don't agree, so. Lily reminds Devin that Jill hired her at Chancecom back in the day because she didn't trust Billy's judgment. Devin understands that, but he still thinks they should probably take some time to let the dust settle. Lily doesn't need time and has already made her decision. Are you oak with me being uncomfortable at my own company? Devin isn't, but thinks she'll eventually learn how to cope. Abby walks up as Lily stalks off. Abby asks Devin, What just happened? At Daniel's place, he tells Heather they should open an art-slash-law boutique. Heather's not sure that's a thing. Daniel quips that they'll corner the market. Talk turns back to Chancellor Winters. Heather hopes that maybe if she goes in there today and lets Lily fire her, that will be enough for her. Daniel thinks they should be proactive about this. He could march in there and resign. It might be the best way to make amends and keep the peace. On Crimson Light's patio, Adam tells Chelsea that the treatment center in Maryland does seem to be top-notch. They wish there had been places like that when they were growing up. Chelsea feels they'll neve forgive themselves if Connor looks back on this time and sees they didn't do everything they can to help him. Billy comes in and says the treatment center seems pretty great. Adams irked that Chelsea already shared the information with him. You're already in the loop and you already have an opinion. Why do I suddenly feel outnumbered? Is this an ambush? Chelsea fumes that it's not an ambush. She emailed Billy the information for another opinion. Adam wanted a second opinion from a professional and wonders why Billy gets a say in this. Billy is just there to offer Chelsea support and agrees it's up to them. At Society, Devin updates Abby on Lily's plans to axe Daniel and Heather, and him agreeing with Billy's points. Abby recalls that they had a preview of that reaction when they put Chance and Amanda through something similar, only worse. Devin has thought about that. He's sure that Lily will be fine, but her emotional reactions have practical ramifications. He hopes they can find a solution that causes the least amount of damage as possible. Maybe Heather and Daniel could work at home or on a different floor of the building. Abby surprises Devin by disagreeing with him. They should be fired. Abby reminds Devin that after they cheated, Amanda left, in part, because she didn't want to see them every day. The kind thing to do would be for Heather and Daniel to resign. Devin warns that if Lily uses her power to punish them for something personal, it's unethical. Devin can run interference to protect his sister and the company. The can't predict how Daniel and Heather will react to getting fired for no other reason than that they fell back in love. At Crimson Lights, Heather and Daniel debate calling Esther and rescheduling their meeting. Heather says that makes them look like cowards and won't hear of him resigning either. Maybe they just need a cooling off period. Just then Lily walks in, they whisper, what do we do? Heather will walk over there right now and give her resignation if it means he won't walk away from the company. Daniel urges her to let Lily say her piece first. Lily walks over and informs Daniel and Heather that she and Devin spoke, and they are both terminated, effective immediately. They'll give them a great severance package and that's just the way it's going to be. Daniel says, okay, oh, and he's sorry it's come to this. Lily snaps, you should have thought of that before you betrayed me. On the patio, Billy assures Adam he's only there for Chelsea to lean on. He asks, do you have someone you can talk to about this? He needs to be supported as well. Adam says, yes. Sally gave me some useful advice, including what you just pointed out. 
If this helps Connor, that is all that matters. So let's move forward and do whatever it takes to get him into that program. Chelsea places her hands over Adams gratefully.